Helene Caroline Therese in Bavaria was born on April 4, 1834, in Munich. She was the third child and first daughter of Duke Maximilian Joseph in Bavaria and Princess Ludovica of Bavaria. For dynastic reasons of reconciliation between the two branches of the House of Wittelsbach, Helene's father Maximilian, who was the eldest of the younger branch of the House of Wittelsbach, married Princess Ludovica of Bavaria, who was the youngest sister of King Ludwig I of Bavaria in 1828. Helene was 14 years old when the 1848 revolution set Bavaria ablaze. Her uncle, King Ludwig I, had to abdicate in favor of his son Maximilian II. In Austria, too, Emperor Ferdinand abdicated, leaving the throne to his 18-year-old nephew, Franz Josef. Franz Josef was Helene's cousin. His mother, the Archduchess Sophie, was a sister of Ludovica. Sophie sought to re-establish Austria's strength by arranging a politically advantageous marriage for her son. But Prussia refused the union and Saxony had no royal princesses on offer that were likely to please the young emperor. So the very cunning archduchess turned to her native Bavaria. As the elder Wittelsbach branch was unable to offer any princesses of marriageable age, the archduchess turned to the younger branch and her eye immediately fell on Helene, who was also called Nene. The imperial engagement, which was an open secret, was to be announced publicly at the ball celebrating Franz Josef's 23rd birthday on August 18, 1853. However, it was not Helene, but the princess's younger sister, the very young Elizabeth, known as Sisi, that the emperor wished to marry. Helene was humiliated in front of her relatives and the European courts. She had very little hope of finding a match, seeing how she had been ridiculed in public at the highly prestigious Austrian court. Helene's humiliation was strengthened by the arrival of a multitude of teachers of all kinds in Possenhofen, the childhood summer residence of Nene and Sisi, as they had to train the young Sisi for her role as empress. But Helene was reasonable and generous and showed no resentment towards her sister. The wedding between Franz Josef and Sisi took place with great pomp in Vienna on April 24, 1854. Very soon, letters arrived at Possenhoven in which Sisi expressed her difficulties in adapting to the Viennese court, her revolt against etiquette and her nostalgia for her family and her native Bavaria. A few years later, Helene found a wedding match in Maximilian of Turn and Taxis. He was heir to the largest fortune in Bavaria, but did not belong to a ruling family. King Maximilian II refused to grant permission for what he considered to be an unequal match. Sissi and Franz Josef, who were still feeling guilty about the events that had occurred, sided with Helene. She was granted permission to marry and on August 24, 1858, Helene married Maximilian of Turn and Taxis. The couple had four children, Louise, Elisabeth, Maximilian Maria, and Albert. The couple's happiness would however last only for a short while, as on June 26, 1867, Helene's husband Maximilian died of either kidney failure or lung paralysis. Maximilian was only 35 years old at the time of his death. Widowed at the age of 33 and left with the responsibility of raising four children, the eldest of whom was only eight years old, the devastated Helene took over the management of the Turn and Taxis family estate. In 1875, Helene arranged a marriage between her eldest daughter Louise and Frederick of Hohenzollern. Frederick was a Catholic member of the German imperial family and brother of the Prince of Romania and the Countess of Flanders. Then, in 1877, her daughter Elizabeth married Miguel of Braganza, a claimant to the throne of Portugal, but Elizabeth died just 21 in 1881, leaving behind three young children. Deeply affected by the loss of her daughter, Helene withdrew from public. In 1883, 
Helene handed over the management of the Touren in Taxi's fortune to her eldest son, Maximilian, who had just turned 21. Sadly, Maximilian died of scarlet fever two years later. Helene's grief was so deep that for some time she had to be committed to a psychiatric hospital. Eventually, Helene found comfort and consolation in her religion. Despite difficult times, the late 1880s saw the Tournin Taxi's family fortune grow. Helene's youngest son, Albert, became engaged to the Archduchess Margarete Clementine of Austria. The bride was a close relative of the Belgian royal family, the niece of the Prince of Bulgaria and the first cousin of the Queen Regent of Spain and the future Queen of Bavaria. With this second marriage to a member of a sovereign house, the Turn and Taxis family entered the inner circle of royal families. Soon after Albert's engagement, Helene felt seriously ill. As a precaution, Albert had informed the Empress Elizabeth, who came straight to her sister's bedside. But the doctors could not help her, and Helene in Bavaria died on May 16, 1890. She was 56 years old. Nene was interred in the family tomb of the Turn and Taxis family. Almost all her relatives attended Helene's funeral, except for Emperor Franz Josef. He was not present to pay his last respects to the woman he was once supposed to marry. Thank you for watching.